Hello, I'm going to demonstrate how to install OpenScene Graph for OS X using the binary package. It's really simple. So we're going to start at the OpenScene Graph website, and you can see I'm already there. And we're going to go to the downloads page, which I've already done. And we're going to find the binaries section and find the OS X Universal Binaries. We would click on this link and it would begin downloading. I've already done this to save time, so I'm going to minimize this to get out of the way. And you can see that I have my disk image on my desktop. So we merely need to double click it to mount the disk image. So I'll do that right now. And a new finder window has appeared. And you can see that the disk image appears in my left column. And these are the contents of the entire disk image. As a developer, you're primarily interested in the frameworks and the plugins. Frameworks are basically a fancy packaged version of dynamic libraries. They contain both the runtime component and also the header files. So if we look at a framework, let's go to the Open Scene Graph framework, you can see that there's a folder here for the header files, and you can see all the header files. And you can see the runtime component, and there are also some other elements to a framework. Frameworks have a notion of versioning, which we actually don't take advantage of currently. And they also have a section to bundle resources in. Um, we don't currently use those for the frameworks. Now if we go back, I do want to point out one thing before we continue installation. And that is that end users are treated differently than developers. End users should not have to install anything as we are about to do. End users should be given a single application that contains all its resources in what they call an application bundle. To the end user, this looks like a single file. But in fact, this is actually a directory structure that contains the executable, the icons, the resources such as your models and sounds and images, and dynamic libraries, as well as plugins. So to demonstrate this point, we've actually pseudo app bundled these applications so they can be run without actually installing them. And they can be run right from the DMG. So I'll find a nice simple program to run. Let's try OSG logo. And we simply need to double click that to run it. No installation, no installer. And unfortunately this uh, program doesn't, screen capture program doesn't handle full screen so I have to hit the F key to go to window mode. And you can see that our font loaded correctly and our little spinning earth OSG um, logo around it. And uh, <clears throat> there you go. Now remember, we did not install anything yet. And yet this runs right out of the box. And that's what you end users should experience. So do not make your end users install Open Scene Graph. OK, so now let's install Open Scene Graph. And as I said, it's really simple. So we just need to install frameworks and plugins. So let's go to the root of the hard drive, and we'll go to the other finder window and click on the hard drive. And I like uh, column list view here. So I'll click on this tab. And we want to install the frameworks to library frameworks. And you can see I already have a bunch of frameworks in here. You might recognize some of them. These are all third-party frameworks. Um, Apple has their own location called System Library Frameworks for their own proprietary or um, system frameworks. Don't touch that folder. That's not for you. And we merely need to copy all our Open Scene Graph frameworks into this section. So we're going to select everything. And here's a trick. Um, if you hit Command A or Apple A, you can select everything in the window. And now I simply drag and release. You can release here or you can release on the actual frameworks. It doesn't really matter. And now the frameworks are installed. So now let's go back and now we need to install the plugins. So plugins install to library application support Open Scene Graph plugins. But if this is your first time installing Open Scene Graph, you probably don't have an Open Scene Graph folder. Well that's no problem, just create it.
and then we'd also create a plugins folder. Um, but we already have one here, so we'll just drag and drop it. And that's it. Case sensitivity is probably important, though remember that HFS Plus is case insensitive by default, so it actually probably won't affect you, by default at least. But if you move to a case sensitive file system, then you'll want the case sensitivity correct. So we're done installing, and we can eject the disk image. And when you're done with this, you can drag it to the trash, and you're done.